Carlos Sainz has been touted as a strong option for Red Bull, but the Ferrari star has multiple options at his disposal. Christian Horner has confirmed that Carlos Sainz is interested in driving for Red Bull next season but reiterated his support for incumbent driver Sergio Perez. The team principal is refusing to rush his decision on Max Verstappen's next teammate. Sainz was left without a drive for the 2025 campaign when Lewis Hamilton's move to Ferrari was announced in February. But after kicking off the season with two P3 finishes and a victory at the Australian Grand Prix, the Spaniard is now one of the hottest commodities on the driver market. Mercedes are reportedly in talks with the 29-year-old regarding a one-year contract with an option for a second season, while Helmut Marco confirmed to Kleine Zeiting that Audi have already made a substantial offer to Sainz's entourage. However, Red Bull are still an option for the three-time Grand Prix winner. Discussing the interest from Audi and Mercedes, as well as Sainz's chances of driving for Red Bull next season, Horner told Sky Sports F1, First of all we're not aware of what the offer that has been made, is, but obviously Audi coming into the sport, one would assume that they're going to be quite aggressive in the driver market. But as you can tell with the level of interest that we have had from other drivers in our seats, for a driver of Carlos caliber, he wants to be in a winning car. And whilst we have one seat available for next year, his target, inevitably, is that seat. But his problem is that Checo is in that seat and he's doing a really good job so for us as a team, it's a luxury situation but one that we don't need to rush and we'll take our time to consider the options. Sainz was also feeling relaxed about his future when quizzed on the state of play ahead of the Chinese Grand Prix. The Spaniard saw one of his options taken off the table when Fernando Alonso sealed a new multi-year contract with Aston Martin after the race in Suzuka. For sure, all my best options are still open, which I think is a positive thing and is something that obviously requires a bit of time, given the situation of the market, he told Sky Sports F1. I think it's going to take some time for everything to make their own mind, up, and their own decisions but the good options are still open.